So hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at the match between Fan Zhendong and Wang Shuqin at the WTT Finals in Doha. I already watched it a little bit yesterday and I think two things were very noticeable. I think one is just overall how little opportunities there were for Fan Zhendong to really play backhand backhand or to go with his backhand to Wang Shuqin's forehand. So that didn't happen a lot and two was that yeah the amount of times that Wang Shuqin exploited Fan Zhendong's forehand by just yeah serving very sharp in the forehand with maybe topspin a lot or when he received a lot of times were either coming in with a banana flick or receiving short in his forehand in Fan Zhendong's forehand uh, and about that banana flick of his also what I wanted to add on to the first point was that yeah the amount of times or the amount that uh, Wang Shuqin exploited Fan Zhendong's middle it was really something to behold. You'll see in in the match a few times, it will happen a few times, but I think overall, when you look at matches from Chinese players, when they come in with a banana flick, it's yeah, so noticeable how very often they just start in the back end. It doesn't really happen a lot that they will go to the forehand with a flick or to the middle with a flick, and here yeah, Wang Shuqin, he broke from this pattern. Also in the beginning of the match, you'll see how often Wang Shuqin serves long to the back end. Uh, and that decreases a little bit over the course of the match. But for now, you see how he really wants to just push back Fan Zhendong. He wants to avoid him coming in with a banana flick. See, like this. Uh, he doesn't let that happen too often in the beginning of the match. Or at least, he doesn't let that happen with... Too much of uh, too much quality. So here he, he played a banana flick in Fan Zhendong's backhand. So you will see how we will change that up and play more to the middle as the match progresses. See another long serve. And here we really built up the match, uh, the rally in the middle. It was a very good first ball. See, in a lot of uh, times where you just receive short in the forehand. And there, Fan Zhendong was waiting a little bit too much over the table on the second ball. But here again, to the middle, then going to the forehand. It's a, a very good strategy. It's also something I discussed in one of my videos. Here again, to the middle. Yeah, I, th I think that's what you should avoid anyway playing too much in the system of Fan Zhendong, playing this back-end, back-end. So here, in the first set, you see him a lot building up the rally um, in the middle, or when he accelerates, going more to the forehand. See, all to avoid the system of just playing back-end, back-end with Fan Zhendong, because you see, you'll see that when it happens, he's going to lose a point. And that was unfortunate. So here it's too much in the back end and Fan Zhendong just feels too comfortable, I feel there. And there again, the first ball was in the middle. One more time in the middle. And then a very good follow-up. I think I'll try to, because I have my tablets ready here, let's just go to the drawing board, if I can find it. So let's just say Fan Zhendong is on this side and Wang Shuqin is on the other side. Okay, very good. Fan Zhendong's serve came more or less in the middle. So that was the first ball. Then, in came Wang Shukin with a banana flick a little bit more to the middle, let's say. So, Fan Zhendong, he had to move up a little bit in order to still take it with his backhand, which he did. Okay, so uh, let's just see the point again one more time. Here. So he had to move up a little bit, so you see how he is a little bit removed from his backhand corner. And then, afterwards, okay, ball came back to, let's say, the forehand part of Wang Shukin. There he was waiting, 
and then which is really hard to do from this position okay because the ball didn't really come in sharp for him it came more so in the middle of the table but still he managed to really play a sharp forehand going outside of the table so it was not only in the back end which Fan Zhendong probably would be ready for if he were to just move up a little bit no he it really came in the sharp back end so yeah that's why he really was too late and touched the ball too much beside him and you see that made him lose the point now you'll see Fan Zhendong coming back with some easy mistakes as well as uh, yeah, we'll just see how it plays out see that's a mistake that shouldn't happen for example Now he's not using the middle enough. The last few balls where it was a rally and Fan Zhendong won the point, um, it came through yeah, Wang Shukin just playing too much in the corners and that's not what you should do. There was a gutsy push. And there also this sharp backhand was a really nice change. So yeah, he wasn't expecting this short forehand, uh, he was expecting this short forehand or this long backhand, so really going for this small corner in the backhand made Fan Shandong just push the ball and that gave him a chance to attack. Oh wow. See, and that was a change from the last few sets is that whenever Wang Shukin was receiving short in the forehand, in the beginning he managed to win some point through it. But over time, Fan Zhendong adapted by just receiving short one more time, or coming over the table a little bit, because yeah, that neutralized the advantage that Wang Shukin had. So he knew that something needed to be done here. So at the end of the second set, he tried to push long a few times, whenever Fan Zhendong received back short but here he was waiting on the table so we'll just show it one more time so you see how Wang Shikin received short, Fan Zhendong received short back and then he was standing with the backhand over the table ready to finish the point that was nice it's not easy to do changing to a, a ball down the line and see that backhand backhand he should really get out of that system He gets some good opportunities through this surf, but he's not capitalizing on it at the moment. That was too much in the backhand, causing Fan Zhendong to just play him out in the forehand. See, and that's and that's very good. If he manages to do, keep the ball over the table, then really this short forehand of Fan Zhendong, it's not that it's a liability, but it's not really a place where he can really take advantage. So even if he stepped in with his backhand, Fan Zhendong, even if he stepped in, see that ball was not with a lot of quality. So yeah, he could just play the rally afterwards. But you see how little both are serving long at the moment. I think Fan Zhendong not at all and Wang Shikin almost never. Also almost never but yeah, in the beginning of the match he did a little bit and as I said he yeah, he used it a lot less as the match progressed. And that was unfortunate by Fan Zhendong because he really had him where he wanted. So played one ball down the line, okay that was good, it was a good reaction. That was unfortunate. Okay, so those two serves, it is hard, and I discussed it already in, in like previous videos, but the rotation of this ball, it, it's like the opposite of the way Fan Zhendong will step in. So the speed with which he can step in, it's not so high. So if he played a banana flick, it wouldn't be with so much quality. So if he really, if Wang Shikin plays that ball in the short forehand, it's really an advantage for him, because Fan Zhendong, he really cannot accelerate too much on this ball. 
Oh, there was a long serve. Finally, there was a long serve and immediately was suppressed. See, and there again, you see. So he really lures him into this short forehand, this deep short forehand. Van Genon can play with too much quality, in part because of the placement, in part because of the rotation. Because you see, it was a topspin serve. It was served with topspin. So all he can do is really just carry the ball a little bit on the table. And then Wang Shukin took advantage of this deep backhand being completely wide open. Oh, unfortunate. Here one more time, a little bit the same. A good reaction. A little bit lucky. I wouldn't see so much how, he, why he needed to change up the serve, but okay, it worked out. Oh, <laughs> playing a short topspin. And I think Fan Zhandong is playing a little bit carefree at the moment because being down 3-0, it's very hard to come back from. So you see him do some chop blocks at the end, uh, which he normally would never do. Yeah, but also the amount of, of shots that Wang Shukin is returning is also something. But now he's being he's playing too much a bit too much in the back end of Fan Zhendong. So you see here he changed up in the middle again, causing him to win a point. See that that change to the middle. He's not changing to the corners. Or at least when he wants to, not, not when he wants to win the point, but um, whenever he's successful, Wang Shukin, let's say it like this, he's not changing to the deep forehand of Fan Zhendong. No, he's changing to his middle. He's changing to his middle, which is in this match is much more effective. And you see how how much he is exposing Fan Zhendong in his middle. So he cannot really go to the deep corners as much. It's not so much of an advantage. It's more the middle where he's capitalizing, where he's winning the points. See again a chop block, it's... See? Yeah, okay, okay, it was, <laughs> was pretty good, but... You see how Fan Zhendong doesn't lose the points on that ball only after the fifth or sixth shot, okay? So whenever he's playing in a corner, it's very hard to, to break through him. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, he was just awaiting everything that Fan Zhendong was doing. So his backhand receive, it wasn't really of any advantage for Fan Zhendong in this match. And he was just totally exposing him. He was playing in the deep four and he was playing in the middle afterwards. And it was just so remarkable how many times that Wang Shukin won the point when he was going to the middle. Was it slow? Was it fast? So yeah, it was really like a, a very basic game plan that Wang Shukin was applying. But it was incredibly effective, as you see, 4-0 against Fan Zhendong is not something which is so easy to do. But yeah, if you think I overlooked something, please let me know. And I think I want to keep the video as it is, I want to keep it a little bit shorter. But thank you very much for watching, hopefully you got something from it. And just let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this or if you have any questions about it. Okay, so but for now, thank you for, again for watching the video and hopefully I will see you next time.